So for us to prevent whatever war she might be thinking of getting us into, we're going to have to be active. We have to be that way. We should be that way all the time, no matter who is in the White House. You know, but we're being we're being given this awful choice on Tuesday of which war do you want? The war Hillary's going to start or the war Donald J. Trump's going to start? You know, because one of them is going to be the president. So and I and I resent. Donald the, J. Trump just said that it's Hillary Clinton who's going to bomb Syria and that Putin doesn't like her. And that proves that Hillary Clinton is a mess. <laughs> Donald Trump, trust me, we, we can't even imagine the kind of conflicts he's going to get us into. This this is a 12 year old narcissist that is going to be sitting behind the desk in the Oval Office um, with a very thin skin and a lot of hate in him. Um, you know, I guess I'm yes, we're being asked to pick a certain poison here or, you know, that old with that old exercise of, you know, you're in a lifeboat and there's only room for one more and it has to be either Hitler or Mussolini. But you say it's not <laughs> that choice. In your film, it's not just pick your no, own poison. No, that's right. That's why I'm not I am not I am not a proponent of scaring people into voting for Hillary is that's the only reason most of her ads now are about scaring people instead of just saying what she's positively going to do, and she's going to do a number of positive things. And we need to be there, the revolution, the, better, the Bernie revolution, the Green revolution needs to be there to support her when she does the right things and to challenge her when she doesn't.